Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we are going to discuss about case 2 in coplanar lines. In case 1, I told you both the lines are in symmetric form. Now in case 2, 1 is in symmetric form. I colored it in yellow and the second one is given as the intersection of two planes. I hope you remember when two planes are given, which are non-parallel of course, when two planes are given, which are non-parallel, then that will create a line. You can imagine the two planes. Can you see a two? Can you see two planes here? And are you able to see the intersection? That is a line. So always remember, two planes, if they are not parallel, will create a line. So this is our line one. And this is our line 2. Anyway, the method is very easy. But the last part might give a little bit trouble. Okay, let's try. So what you do is you convert the line in symmetric form into parametric form. So I hope you still remember that. And then check whether, then check whether the parametric form will balance this equation and this equation for the same value. If you get the same answer from both, it means line 1. I hope you did not forget. Parametric form is a point generator. What do you mean by parametric form? It generates all the points in a system. So if you write the line in a parametric form, it is kind of like you are generating all the points on the line. And now what we understand is this line, this plane and this plane has a common point. That means line 1 and line 2 intersect. So that's it. That proves that they are coplanar. Now comes the troublemaking part. If two lines are intersecting, now they will ask. If they ask, are they coplanar? That's done. That's it. You have to prove that you get the same value from both. Now they will ask, in your examination they will ask, what is the common point? That's very easy, you plug it back into the parametric form. Now they will ask an ultimate question, what is the common plane? And that can be done with a standard formula. Like I told you in the last day, if you are a math major student, you should know the theory part. But if you are an applied mathematics student, the procedure is more than enough. And the procedure goes like this. We write the plane through the intersection of two planes. That is P1 plus lambda P2 equal to 0. So you can be 100% sure this will be our common plane. You can be 100% sure about it. Now you have to find the value of lambda. And that can be found by plugging in any point on the first line. Now it will benefit you more if I show you how we work out the problem. So be ready with your pen and paper. And as always I'll repeat please support us and subscribe to our channel. Okay please copy this question. You can pause the video and copy this question. So can you see line 1 is in symmetric form and line 2 is given as the intersection of two planes. So I already told you the method. You can see that I called the line 1 to be with the parameter t. So I got the parametric form. Now can you see I am going to plug in this value. Can you see the x value, the y value. You can see it here. So I plugged it into the line. By the way, plugging it into the line means you have to plug it in both the planes. Two planes create a line if they are not parallel. And you keep on simplifying, you keep on simplifying. Um, my recommendation is pause the video, don't copy the steps. Pause the video, try it. And check whether you are getting t is equal to 2. In both the cases, in both the cases. If you get the same value, if you get the same value, in this problem it is 2, in another problem it might be 1 by 2. In another problem, it might be minus 7 by 6, anything. But if you get the same value, then you can understand they are 
coplanar there is a common point now the last part look they are intersecting great so they are coplanar now the second question what is the common point very simple you take this t value put it back into the parametric form and you'll get the common point now the last part what is the common plane what i am planning to do is i'll go for the method that i explained in the beginning that is we will write the required plane is p1 plus lambda p2 equal to 0 and make sure all the terms are on one side so we get the answer to be 3x plus 2y plus z minus 2 plus lambda times x minus 3y plus 2z minus 13 equal to 0. Now our job is to find the value of lambda. What is our job? To find the value of lambda, simplify that will be your answer. And for that there is a trick. Do you remember the parametric form? The parametric form is 3t minus 5, t minus 4 and minus 2t plus 7. And parametric form gives you all the points in a line. So you can plug in t equal to 0 or you can plug in t equal to 10. You can plug in t equal to minus 7. Get one point from line 1. Another simple method is you just look at the numerator and you'll get one point for sure because that is how the symmetric equation is. Anyway, I'm going for the shortcut. I'm going to choose minus 5, minus 4, 7. And I'll plug it here. So 3 into minus 5 plus 2 into minus 4 plus 7 minus 2 plus lambda. I found the value of lambda to be 9 by 4. Confirm it. If the value is correct, comment below. And I wanted to plug it here. Simplify and check whether the answer is this. I used another method. I got this answer. Confirm it. So, I'll be back with another video in which we will talk about the shortest distance. Again, in shortest distance, we had learned two methods. So, till then, my friends, 